Still a nation, we need to talk. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I thank you for checking out the video. Uh, if you want to sub, hit the sub. If you want to like, hit the like. But you know what? It's a funny time. It, this has been a funny time a, a few times this season and also a funny time a few times last season. But in this episode, I'm going to look over some of the schedule, what games ha like have happened recently with the last uh, seven games or whatnot we have. Steelers are four and three. Yeah, that's a, that's a winning record right now. It's it's a it's a, it's something that we can improve on. However, the way they're losing, it's almost like they reset every time. Now, when you go back to the first week of the season, was well, San Fran they lost thirty to seven, and I was super hyped on this team. I was like, they can beat San Fran. They're a bunch of nobodies. And by the way, now Brock Purdy and that crew, uh, the 49ers, have dropped three in a row. So what is the NFL? I don't really understand. So with that game, the Steelers lost 30-7. to All of Steelers Nation kind of freaked out. We're like, man, what is happening? The Khan artist, and we had all these players from the draft. They're not using them. Uh, you didn't you didn't see them use Darnell. They're not, they're not playing Broderick Jones right away. Uh, JPJ got his first start this week in week eight, right? And after the bye, you know, the Steelers do, do quite well with the win. But what, what is happening with our Steelers? Like, where, where's the overall identity? And is the problem just the offense? Or is there other nuances where it's like the problem can, can be defense, like rush defense? Or is the problem the, the secondary that not turning up the play, right? Car Z and JPJ let up a massive touchdown today, went all the way down the field with 50 yards at Travis Etienne, the running back. They, he blitzed the cornerback. Kazi jumped the route. See you later, mate, to the house. So I'm trying to figure out who are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I'll tell you this. I won't stop supporting them. So this channel is for you guys. You want to keep supporting your team. No matter how bad it is right now, I will always support my team. That is the Black and Gold Steelers, no matter what. You know what? The Jaguars fans are going crazy right now. In my comments, they're coming and laughing and doing all these things and, you know, going back and forth and saying the, the Pittsburgh squeals and everything like that. You can have that. I don't care. I don't care because we still have Super Bowls in the background because we are a franchise that can win Super Bowls. At the same time, it is pretty frustrating right now because the Steelers are going through possibly a rebuild or maybe a kind of like a flat line. And look, I'm a Tomlin guy. You guys know this. I love the way that Tomlin uh, coaches the team. I love the way that you know he speaks. And and I've always been a fan because he's been a, my coach since since 2007. Like I started watching in 2002. And also. also I have never seen in my history, like, you know, as a fan uh, supporting this team, I've never seen them with a losing record either. So the last time the Steelers had a losing record was 2002. So remember that. This could just be the time where the Steelers suck and we're not a good team and every good thing has to come to an end. But you go through the schedule. Cleveland had a crazy game there with Highsmith and TJ, 26-22. They get a win there. They can get back-to-back -back wins, two and one. They beat Vegas all the way out, you know, um, near the West Coast. Like, hard to win out in Vegas, having won there in 1995. So you're thinking, two and one, going pretty good. Well, not so fast. They lay an absolute duck egg uh, in Houston. They lose 30 to six. They can't move the ball on offense. And the offense is really poor. I don't need to tell you guys out there, our offense stinks. That's pretty much it. We know how bad the offense is. They still only have, I think, three rushing touchdowns and I think, I believe, six or seven passing touchdowns. Not many at all. We we know how bad they are. Then, after you lay that absolute duck egg, the Steelers uh, come back to Pittsburgh and they beat the Baltimore Ravens 17-10, to 10, who, by the way, in the last, I think, seven games, they've won six out of seven. So I ask you again, who are the Pittsburgh Steelers? Because at this point... They are three and two going into the bye. And a lot of fans out there were saying we're really bad three and two, we're awful, and it doesn't matter. But then after the bye, you beat the Rams. And I thought it was what was one of the best victories I've seen since last year, Steelers versus Raiders, when they won 13 to 10. I thought it was a really good game on offense. They they came to play with the rushing uh near the end of the, the fourth quarter. And they also came to play on teams and defense. I thought they played a pretty good game. And it was, it felt solid. Like it felt like a good win. I felt like a real 
solid win for once. I was like, yes, the Steelers won 24-17 in LA and things are moving up. So the Steelers are four and two. Then you come to today's game or yesterday's game as you guys wake up Monday morning in America. And thank you guys who check me out. Um, 85% of you guys who check out this channel is from America. Of course, the Steelers and I'm here. I am in Australia. All right. So the Steelers are four and two today. And then they play like absolute trash against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, I don't think the Jaguars are the greatest team, but the, the, better, the better team won today. Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, uh, uh, Josh Allen, and Adam Gotsis, who also injured Kenny. And by the way, too, hopefully Kenny Pickett is good and he's hurt. I think he's hurt his ribs. And also Minka Fitzpatrick. We've got to watch those two players because I doubt that, that, that you're going to see Minka come back for a Thursday night game and also you're going to see Kenny Pickett, right? So I'm not giving up on the season. I just get really confused of what the Steelers' identity is. And if you guys can help me out there, let me know what you think, because I don't know who the Steelers are. Are they a running team? Are they a passing team? Are they a defensive team that just has to sneak away with wins 13 to 10 or 17 to 11 or 17 to 10, where they need to play solid defense and get a defensive score to win the game, right? I just don't know, because they, they lose this game 20 to 10. So you have in total four and three. They've beaten Cleveland, they've beaten Baltimore, and they've beaten Las Vegas and, and, and LA all the way out west, right? They normally can't win on the west coast, or Big Ben couldn't win on the west coast. They had a really bad record out, record out there. But this year in 2023, the Steelers can win out there. And also in their division, they're going 2-0. and And here's the funny point, and we can't dwell on this too much. The Steelers have a game coming up versus the Tennessee Titans 4-3. and three. Now, can they right the ship? Hopefully. But how do they do it? Here's the question. How do they right the ship? Is it just okay to get a, a victory that is 13-10, 17-14, 19-17, or Chris Boswell, you know, wins a field goal, 23-19? Uh, is that good enough for the Steelers to get a victory to go to 5-3 five, five and three? And then, and then versus the Packers the next week? Or does the fan base, and or does this team, both questions really, do the fan base and this team need a solid victory where it's firing on all cylinders, where we call the right plays, we call the right running schemes, we have Najee Harris run straight, Deontay uh, Johnson catch the ball, we have Pickens not be you know too chirpy after a first down, right? Keep his ego in check like that. Do we have something where we see uh, on defense, they're not allowing third and 15s, like, like stuff like that. This team has a lot of mini errors and a lot of, I guess, discipline errors that they need to fix. And it does come from the top down, from uh, from the Rooney's organization, so Khan, to uh, Mike Tomlin, to Canada, to Austin. It's the whole organization and the staff. Everyone needs to do better. But we've been saying that for three or four years. After a loss, these losses are really, really bad. So then you start to think, well, how can they get better? What do they need to do? Is it a change up in quarterback? Is it a change up in running back? I don't know. I've been saying you go with Najee and you feed in Warren. But do they have to change something up like that? Is it a change in, in scheme? Do they need um, a, a new playbook? Do they go with something completely different? Do they, do they run the rock? You know what? Today's game, they only run the rock like 12 times. You got to stick to the run. You got to stick to a plan. Are the is the Steelers? Are the Steelers just getting beat to, at their own game by playing good defense and running the rock like the Jaguars did today against us, and have a, have a, a good enough quarterback to move down the field and get two hundred yards? The Steelers are in a funny position because I think we've been successful for so long, and me included when I see this team that I've been cheering them on since two thousand two from the days of Amos Siraway. Tommy Maddox, going into Jerome Bettis, going into Heath Miller, or even before that, Farrier, um, all those kind of guys, right? Um, um, you know, Alec, uh, Alan, Al Alec Fenneker? Alan Fenneker, all those dudes. Big Ben when he started. And now this team, as much success we want them to have, maybe this year it's just going to be rocky, rocky road or rocky waters. It might just feel like that. I don't know what the direction of the team because other teams you see around the league, like the Chiefs, like the Bills, even the Cowboys put on 43 points today, right? 
Uh, who were some other teams? The Ravens are playing pretty good football. I hate to shout them out, but they are. They're playing good football. The Bengals are bouncing back. They're playing good football and scoring points. The Steelers, though, after a few few wins, they win two in a row and they regress. They win two in a row and regress. Now, can they find that secret mojo Mike Tomlin talked about a few month, uh, a few weeks ago? I don't know. But to me, it's really crazy how they go loss, win-win, loss, win-win, loss. There's a certain pattern here, right? A certain pattern here. And we can all say the easy answer. Fire Tomlin, fire Rooney, fire Matt Canada, fire all the coaching staff, right? But let's say that's not an option. They're, and it doesn't feel like it's, it's an option this year because they're not going to move on from Canada, nor they're going to move on from Mike Tomlin. What do the Pittsburgh Steelers do? Because coming up, you have, after this, at Jacksonville, LA, of course, after the bye. And then you have on uh, the next few games, you have Tennessee Titans, prime time on Thursday Night Football, right? Big game versus the Titans. They, they have to try and, you know, right the ship there. Then Green Bay, also after that, uh, at home, the two home games. And then you go out to the Browns and Cincinnati. And then you have a pretty, pretty crazy stretch going into the playoffs if they even get a chance to go to the playoffs. So I ask again, who are the Pittsburgh Steelers? Because I love my team. I love when they get a, a massive run or you see TJ Watt getting out there, getting a sack or a forced fumble and you, 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 you swing your terrible tower like crazy. But at the same time, they're very, very frustrating to watch because you don't know overly what they're going to do. And the backup quarterback situation is, is poor. It's really poor. Kenny Pickett goes out. The backup quarterback should be going in there to not try and win the game with, with his super arm and go up there crazy. And by the way, Trubisky lost the game for us. He's not. He's, he's a part of the problem. Not the problem. He's a small part of the problem that happened. But the Steelers don't have any identity where they can lean on the run or go to their favorite target. They went to DJ a few times today. He dropped the ball. And they didn't, they didn't get the ball to Pickens. So I don't understand who they are on offense. And they can't score first quarter points or second quarter points. And they're always playing from behind. But their defense is doing just enough to keep them in the game. And then eventually, the Jaguars or the opponents, if they get into the third quarter, fourth quarter, they just got to score two touchdowns or three to get 21 points, 23 points, and they win the game. Now, what does that sound like? That sounds like what we want the Steelers to be. Good defense, just score 24 points, 25 points, keep them under 20 points, and the Steelers win the game. So I don't know who the Pittsburgh Steelers are. I really don't. I have no idea. A loss, a win-win, a loss. A win-win and a loss. Steelers are four and three. If they can figure it out, they can go five and three. And if they get their stuff in order, they could be a playoff team. But right at the moment, I don't know who they are. I'll see you later.